Hey there, it's Dennis. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through quickly capturing bulk screenshots from a list of websites and downloading them as an archive or uploading them to your Google Drive folder. I'll show you how to set up the process, set everything on a timer so you could snap the images periodically and get them all bundled up in a neat zip archive using a tool from Botster. Now, before we dive in, if you find this content helpful, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. It really supports the work I do around here, so that's always appreciated. Now let's get started. To kick things off, let's head over to Botster and use the site search function to find the screenshot maker bot. Here it is. Click on that. Once you're on the bot's information page, you can either read up on the details or click the green start button to get going. Given you're watching the video, I'll skip the reading part and head straight to the bot's configuration page. This is the page where you configure the job that the bot will create for you. And once the job is completed, you'll have access to your data. First off, you'll be prompted to name your job for future reference, so go ahead and give it a title that makes sense to you. I'm gonna name it screenshot testing demo. Next, paste in the list of links you want to snag screenshots off. Gonna paste the list of universities and scroll further. Now you'll see a few options to customize your task. You can pick between mobile, tablet, or desktop. I'm gonna go with the first option here. Let's scroll further down. Now you can choose to have the bot take long screenshots, which essentially means capturing the full length of the pages, not just what's visible on the screen initially. The low GS option is there if the page you're capturing have dynamic content powered by JavaScript. If you have no idea what that means, I suggest you just tick this box. Selecting the wait for full page load option ensures the bot will wait for the entire HTML document to load before snapping a shot. Again, highly recommended to have this one turned on. Next, if you'd like, you can have the bot print the web address at the top of each screenshot. Now, I don't know why, but some people find it useful, so it's up to you. When it comes to format, pick between JPEG or PNG based on your preference. Next, you can select the location from which the bot will be accessing the websites. This can be handy in case the site you are trying to make screens of are changing their interface elements such as prices or descriptions depending on the user's location. Changing the location option also helps if the bot fails to take a screenshot of a particular page. So if you're getting stuck, go ahead and try that out. Finally, you can add additional waiting time before snapping your image after the full page load is completed, as some web pages can be really heavy and giving the robot additional three or five seconds of extra waiting time can tremendously help with loading up additional page elements. Each website is different, so my advice is to play around with these settings and then figuring out the optimal setup. In case you need to make these screenshots periodically, you can schedule the bot with these additional simple settings. Just tick this box and select how often you would like the bot to run the program. It can be every hour, every day, twice a day and so on. Not going to be using this option in this demo. Now in the notification block decide how you'd like to be notified once the job is done. You have a range of choices here. Email, Slack, Telegram, Webhook or Zapier for more complex automation sequences. If you opt for email or messenger notifications you will receive a link that will contain previews of the extracted data as well as the link to a downloadable zip archive. This is actually really handy. You also have the option to upload the screenshots directly to your Google Drive folder. And in this video, we're going to do exactly that. As you can see, my Google account is already connected and I only need to do two things. First is select the remote folder for my images. I'm just gonna pick the only folder that I have and choose between uploading separate files or a zip archive, which will contain all of my screenshots. I'm going to pick the files option. After filling everything out, let's hit the start button and let the robot do its thing. Okay, you can see that your job is now created and is now actively running. I'll skip the video ahead to when the bot finishes up, but before I do, make sure to hit the like button if you've been enjoying this 
video so far. Okay, the job is now completed and you can already grab your zip archive by clicking on this icon. You can also click the view data button and have a look at the extracted data in a spreadsheet. Let's do that. You have the web links of each screenshot that Botster made along with a preview for easy reference. By the way, you can share this page with anyone by making it public. To do that, simply click on this button here, grab the link and forward it to whoever. Let's now open my Google Drive folder and make sure the bot uploaded our screenshots like we asked it to. Here's our folder, here are the screenshots. Great job, Botster! Alright, this wraps up today's tutorial. Stay tuned for more handy tips and tricks and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!